Howdy partner. Do you want to learn how to replace your screen door hardware? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to show you how to replace your screen door handle as well as the closing mechanism. So we're going to do the handle first and the closing mechanism, knock it out, show you step by step and show you it's not a very tough project. If you appreciate this project or any of our outdoor how-to stuff, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the subscribers. Also, getting comments, put them in the comment box or any questions, let me know. Um, and be sure to hit that like. I really appreciate the like. So just getting to it, we had spray painted this whole door and screen assembly and our gutters. It came out great, but um, we ended up, uh, some of the paint wore off here. So I want to go ahead and replace the paint that's on this door handle here. It's a cheap fix. And then also we have this part of our mechanism I'm going to come in and close in on it. It actually ripped and broke here. So it's hard to get just this one piece. So rather than get just this one piece, this was kind of worn out. We're going to get the whole piece fixed. It's about a $10 part. So we're going to knock through both of these real quick and freshen up this door. We got both of these at Walmart, but you can also get them on Amazon or anywhere else. So I'll go ahead and link them in the description. And that way you can have an idea of where to start. So in terms of figuring out which size you need, the, this particular handle, which we went colonial styles, different styles, you need a one and three quarter inch hole. So we just want to measure the hole right here and see where the two screws are that's holding on the door handle. Is that at one and three quarter inches? Which that one is. So that's going to be the right size for this. And then we also want to measure the length of this uh, ga uh, gas strut, which is 10 and a half inches, which kind of tells you. You can get further into it on whether you have a heavy door or a light door and which one you need. A screen door should only be light duty and that way you figure out how much force you need in that closing mechanism. So we're going to get started. There's just three screws to take out for the handle. There's one here, one here, and then there's going to be one on the other side right down here. So we're going to get those out. You can use a regular Phillips head screwdriver or a power drill and we'll get this started and be right back. Okay. Once you've gotten all your screws out, you're going to pull this apart. It's got all sorts of parts in it, and it's going to come out pretty easily. Now, there is two things that you're going to have to verify with your door. Number one is going to be a thickness. So this is a one-inch thick door. You want to figure out how thick your door is. And why that's important is because, taking a look at these instructions here, you're going to see that it supplies three different sets of screws, and this screw is for a one inch thickness. So it'll fit with any door from three quarter, one and a quarter. But these are the two screws that we're gonna need. The other thing that you have to do is you have to adjust this mechanism. Now this is the old one that came out of the door. So you could reuse this, but if you want to, you can adjust this mechanism. It has an arrow right here. And you come in from the outside and you wanna insert it until the line is at the beginning of the door. When that happens, you wanna grab this, count how many lines you have over here. You're gonna grab it right here at that line. And I know I have four lines. So using two sets of pliers, you're gonna bend it and you're gonna snap it off. So you wanna go ahead and do that and make sure you're at the right size. So when you come in, you're right here. Are you coming through? Yes, see it's right at that line where it needs to be. It's just barely coming out right there. The other thing you could do is you could take your old one if it was functioning properly and make sure they're exactly the same length. So you can use either one. This one is a millimeter longer, but we're gonna go ahead and use the one that we just broke off. Once you got that piece set up, you wanna put the spring that comes with it onto it. So the spring is pointing towards your outside with a smaller end on the outside. You're gonna put it into that hole right there. The spring is what keeps this button out. Then you're gonna put it, put the piece of silver metal through the middle, middle hole and make sure your other two holes are gonna align and go in. And then you're going to take this piece and putting the silver metal into the middle hole here, you're going to go ahead and push that right in and then align it and you can go ahead and click it and make sure you're getting the proper function there and there, which we are. So now we're gonna put back in the three screws, those two that were for one inch, as well as the one in the bottom that was just a normal screw. 
Once it's all tightened back in, you just want to check for proper functioning. When you press this button, it does work. And then this one will just do that. So it looks great. You can also replace the, the catch latch uh, plate over here. If you want to see it from the inside, the catch latch, or I just called it, or the strike plate is right here. This is the old one we had. And when it closes, you'll see it closes just right. Again, our, ga our we haven't done the uh, gasket yet, so it's not that strong, the, steel, the gas strut rather, but it is hitting just perfectly on there. So we do not need to adjust or replace that. We're gonna leave that be. But if you want to replace it, take out two screws, throw a new one in, super easy. All right, if you're here for the door closer part of this, it's again, the same thing. You've got about four Phillips head screws here, as well as a couple Phillips head screws here that you're gonna go ahead and take out. There's also a couple pins that hold this in. So you can just lift the pin from underneath. There's really nothing locking it in. And you can go out that way and that way. That takes off your entire strut. If you open it up a little bit first and lock it out like I did with the door open, it'll make it so there's no pressure in it. And then you just wanna go ahead and take out the old hardware. So stay tuned. Once you've gotten all the screws out, you're gonna take the longer screws that were provided. And you wanna fix this in the same direction if it was working before, depending on which how your jams align. And you're just going to use the existing holes. You could even reuse the hardware if you wanted to, to put that back in. So the same idea, reusing the holes on the other piece here that goes on the door itself. You want to put the open end of this out, and then you're just going to find your old holes, and hopefully you can reuse them so we don't have to drill holes. But if you needed to drill new holes, you could also drill new holes. We're going to get these attached. You see that one kind of slides, and the back one is fixed. So we can do the back one first. If you wanted to, you can see where we painted ours. You could have traced yours with a pencil first so that you know where it is. But we're in good shape. Gonna go ahead and tighten that up and then we'll attach the rest of the assembly. So you're gonna come with a little door lock here or uh, rather the gas strut lock. You put it on with this part, the point facing in towards the gas strut. You're just gonna put that in like that. If you wanna pull it a little bit, you can, but it's gonna be pretty tough to pull. So just kind of get it right there. Then you're gonna put this right here and you use the long pin and you wanna put the long pin into the front hole like so. And we're gonna do that in the back part of that mount. Then what you wanna do is we'll take you inside and we're gonna close the door all the way to get attached into here. So twist this until you get this to where it's just right into that, into the right, uh, way to fit into this spot and then you may need to pull it out a little bit and lock it and you're going to try to open the door until you get it perfectly aligned and as you get it aligned you're then going to take the short pin and fit it in to that metal spot now this is going to take a little bit of back and forth to get it just right, but there's no doubt that you will be able to do it just like so. It just might take a little bit of adjustment. Kind of rock it a little. And there we go, now we're in. All right, we got them all attached. Now, if you check out the speed at which this door is closing, we can adjust it. That's really slow. The gas strut is doing a lot of work and it's slowly releasing it. But there is a screw at the end of this. If you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to make it close faster. And if you turn it clockwise, it'll make it slower. So you can keep adjusting it to where you don't want to slam any fingers or anything, but you do want it to close faster. So that is okay, but I want to go a little bit more. So I'm going to go counterclockwise a couple turns and then perfect. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. We got our new hardware here. We can touch up a little bit of paint, but clicks open super easy. That strut is nice, not broken anymore. It's locking open, works either way. And then it also closes real nicely. Perfect. All right, thanks for tuning in to Mr. Greg's How To. Be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Hope this was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And remember, with all these projects, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.